Hello everybody, I'm Bob and this is Thailand. Today we're going to take a motorcycle trip up the face of Doi Sutep. Quick Thai lesson here. Doi means mountain, Wat means temple. And we're going to Wat Doi Sutep. Sutep is the name of the mountain. Let's go for a ride right now. Our ride will go about eight or nine miles and there's about a hundred curves so even the straightaways have got some curve on them. We're starting out down by the zoo entrance and as we come up this first hill you'll see there's a rather large group of people meeting at the temple. It's Saturday morning and I was hoping by being out just after dawn I would manage to avoid some of the, con of the congestion. I also found out that Apparently there's some school functions and there's a whole bunch of kids up here now. There's always dogs and bicycles and sometimes there's hikers and joggers. But today it looked like there was an entire school in a couple of places. So we had that to contend with. And uh, an interesting thing about the road up there is it gets a lot of uh, dew and until the dew melts, it tends to be a little bit slippery. I don't think there's much silicates in the paving mix, uh, at least on this particular hill. If I didn't already mention that we were gonna gain 3,000 feet elevation, I'm doing that right now. There's a number of gathering places spread out along the road, and some of them have food, some of them have facilities um, for picnicking, and some of them have uh, just overlook properties. I used to have a session several years ago and I thought well, I just put the, my GoPro 7 on my head and go up the road with it. I was surprised to find out that the default setting is 2.7 and I got this box looking picture. Um, I've got that straightened out now but today we're going to be confined to the 2.7 frame. My original idea was to get over here early and I did oversleep a tad but I had no idea there were going to be so many extra bodies in the road and by the road. It's, um, it's usually during the busy season, there's like 2,500 trips made up to the temple a day and the road is very busy. So I thought that by <clears throat> getting up real early today, I'd have pretty much the road to myself and I uh, can use all the lanes and have some fun, but it turned out it's crowded, there's, there's dogs and people, and it's, uh, it's, it's probably because it's Saturday, I'd have to say, um, but I think there's some school event going on here, because there's too many people about the same age that are climbing the hill. Wat Doi Tep is older than America by a good margin, and um, it's got an overlook of the entire city, all the way down to the Ping River and beyond. To Temple is a prime place to take sunrise pictures and pictures that encompass the entire city. On over to the mountain. Well, uh, last evening I dropped by the 7-Eleven store at my condo and I found out that all those kids were going up to a camp. Um, I was told that the daughter or the son of the person who ran the store had gone to, quote, be in the woods. So apparently there's a camp to which they were all going, um, and it's sort of, a, I guess, a nature camp. And um, if you're curious as to whether it was a private camp or a school camp or what, there's a word called bowarn, B-O-W-A-R-N, and it describes a tightness between homes, temples, and schools. They don't have the, the homes, the temples, and the schools probably had some involvement in it, but I didn't see any of them above the um, view station, so I'm thinking that they probably got off at a camp further down the hill. By now, most of you have probably noticed there aren't a lot of views unless you stop and get out. 
the mountain's quite steep and cutting uh, viewpoints doesn't seem to be a priority. Since Deutsche Tepp is a national park, the park itself is 265 square kilometers. Uh, that's 164 square miles. To give you an idea, that's equal to almost 5,000 football fields. Pooping Palace is further on past White Deutsche Tepp and the royal family sometimes stays there to escape the Bangkok summer heat. Some ancient tile folk tales refer to the two towering peaks, Doi Tep and Doi Pu, as the guardians. overview area supports a number of vendors. We're still quite early and a few of them are already here, but there will be quite a few more before the day uh, it gets another hour into the day. The view of Chiang Mai is a little better here during the dry season and winter when some leaves are falling off of the trees. Uh, right now we're for three or four weeks into the rainy season and things have gotten thick and bushy again. Above this point, though, the uh, highway gets more. The distance between curves and the number of curves increases after this point as we go on northward. Past this point, the number of dogs you see uh, reduces greatly until you get up to the village around the temple and then there's a number of dogs wandering around. They mainly are looking for handouts. There's also a substantial market area and you can get anything from banana waffles that are to die for, uh, fresh fruit, or even insects if you want to try your hand at that. The temple area itself has got several levels and although there are a stair, there is a stairway with somewhere around 300 steps. I've heard 306, 309, and 326 from various people. But uh, it, it's a substantial climb up to the temple itself. And if you want to go into the inner courtyard, you'll end up uh, taking your shoes off. And if you're dressed immodestly, 
they will give you a green frock to wear while you're in that area of the temple. Uh, I don't, I've never heard of anybody. The big gold statue has a Buddha of equal size to the immediate left of it, and then the magical banana waffle place is over, keep going to your left. You'll love it. Although the stairway is impressive, I have to tell you that the Nagas, which are those creatures that are guarding the stairway, come in three, five, seven, and nine headed forms. I've seen all. In the south, they usually have Thai giants and Chinese giants guarding the entrances to the encourage you to subscribe like share whatever it does help the channel um, and we really appreciate it <laughs>